So the G6 is LG's 2017 flagship smartphone, but is it the right device for you? To help you make that decision, today we're gonna to be highlighting six reasons why you should buy the G6. Now, we'll be counting down from number six to number one, but keep in mind that everyone uses their device differently. What's important to us may not necessarily be what's important to you. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this for other devices, hit the subscribe button down below. We're always working on new content, but we wanna make sure that that content is what you actually wanna watch. I'm Nick Ray from Fandroid, let's get started. Number six, software. The G6 is running on Android Nougat right out of the box, but the software skin isn't much different than what LG introduced last year with the G5. Fortunately, the company has improved performance, animations, and overall smoothness. When you turn the phone on for the first time, you don't get an app drawer, but you are able to turn it on within the settings. And if you're not a fan of the look and feel throughout the UI, you can customize it with dozens of themes which can change the wallpaper, font, icons, and other UI elements within LG's default apps. On top of that, you can even customize the on-screen navigational buttons. Number five, square photos. Now, this one may sound like a little bit of a gimmick, but if you use Instagram or other social media apps quite a bit, it's probably one of the features you'll be using the most. The G6 has a square image feature, which allows you to capture one by one images and snap a picture and instantly preview it without having to jump into the gallery. You also get a grid shot, which allows you to capture four consecutive photos and then stitch them together automatically in a two by two grid. There's also a match shot feature, which stitches together an image from the front and back cameras, which are captured at the same time. To make sure these features are easy to use, LG's also created a shortcut which can be added to your desktop so that you can jump right into the square camera as quickly as you want. That brings us to number four, design. LG has produced a handful of good looking phones over the years, but besides the G4, the company hasn't been known for delivering recognizable and even praiseworthy designs. That all changes with the G6. You won't find any flimsy plastic or painted aluminum on this phone. All you get is premium materials all the way around. On the front, you have Gorilla Glass 3 protecting the display, while the phone's curved back is wrapped with Gorilla Glass 5. And for the frame, LG is using aerospace-grade aluminum, which wraps around the four edges of the phone. Now, the concept of this design isn't exactly new, but LG has managed to tweak the details just enough so that the G6 doesn't look like any other smartphone that's currently on the market. The number three reason you should buy the G6? Water resistance. Since LG ditched the modular design of the G5, the company was able to incorporate IP68 water and dust resistance into the new design of the G6. That's right, you can now drop the phone into a sink or a shallow pool without worrying too much. For the clumsy among us, this adds peace of mind if you're prone to dropping your phone in the toilet or accidentally spilling a drink on it. The IP68 rating means the phone can withstand 1.5 meters of water pressure for 30 minutes without being damaged. Now, if you're careful, the phone can be used for underwater photography, but you will have to use the volume rocker to snap your pictures or start video recording, as the display will not respond to touch when it's fully submerged. Keep in mind that the phone's IP68 rating doesn't apply to salt water, so all bets are off if you decide to take the phone for a swim at the sea or the ocean. At the number two spot, we have the phone's dual cameras. Now, dual cameras have been around for quite a while, and the setup on the G6 isn't much different than what LG introduced last year with the G5. But this year's phone sports much better sensors and the secondary sensor matches the 13 megapixel resolution of the primary one. Because of this, you now get a much smoother transition when you zoom in and out between the standard and the wide angle lenses. The improved sensors also means that you get sharper pictures in daytime and nighttime shots. And have I mentioned that the G6 will make you fall in love with wide-angle photography? Take a look at these pictures and you'll see what I mean.
And finally, number one, the display. Since it's the first thing that everyone comments on every time I pull the phone out of the pocket, it's obvious that the LG G6's 18 by nine aspect ratio display is the number one selling point of this phone. The 5.7 inch IPS LCD panel sports a resolution of 2880 by 1440. The main reason LG chose to go with this unconventional aspect ratio is because it allows the phone to have a 5.7 inch display without increasing the body of the phone. As you can see, the phone isn't noticeably larger than the HTC 10 and the Huawei P10 with their respective 5.2 and 5.1 inch displays. But it is substantially smaller than the Huawei Mate 9 which has a 5.9 inch panel. The 18 by nine, or more plainly, the two by one aspect ratio of the display works really well throughout the UI and most applications, but it doesn't really play nice with the standard video format, which is 16 by nine. You'll be seeing black bars on the sides of the screen while watching videos from YouTube or Netflix. However, the taller display does mean you have more room to use Android Nougat's multi-window function, since apps are given more room to breathe. If you're a power user, you'll definitely love the extra screen real estate offered by this display. Now, I'm not saying that the LG G6 is the best smartphone of 2017, but it's obvious that there are more than a few reasons why you should consider buying it. If you're a spec junkie, you may scoff at the fact that this phone doesn't have Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 835 processor and only comes with four gigs of RAM. We can guarantee that we'll see much faster phones hit the market in the next two to three months but I don't think that the premise of a better phone in the future diminishes the impact of the G6's current market-leading status. We'll be comparing the G6 to the Galaxy S8 and other devices which are coming out later this year. But we're curious, what's your take on the main selling points of the G6? Leave us a comment below and let us know if you're planning on buying LG's new flagship device or if you'll be waiting around for something else.